माई सेल्फ अनुज कुमार वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन डिपार्टमेंट आई एम टी ग्रेटर नोएडा टूडे वी डिस्कस अ बेसिक प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ सिस्टम इज लीनियर एंड नॉन लीनियर सिस्टम हाउ वी डिसाइड अ सिस्टम इज लीनियर और नॉन लीनियर द लीनियरिटी प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द सिस्टम इज बेसिकली द सम ऑफ टू फंडामेंटल प्रॉपर्टी द वन इज द सुपर पोजिशन प्रॉपर्टी एंड अनदर वन इज द होमोजिनेटिक प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द सिस्टम द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ सुपर पोजिशन प्रॉपर्टी एंड होमोजिन प्रॉपर्टी इज कॉल्ड द लीनियरिटी प्रॉपर्टी एंड अ सिस्टम विच फॉलो द सुपर पोजिशन प्रॉपर्टी एंड ऑल्सो एज वेल एज होमोजिनेटिक प्रॉपर्टी इज कॉल्ड अ लीनियर सिस्टम अदरवाइज अ सिस्टम विच डज नॉट फॉलो दिस फंडामेंटल प्रॉपर्टीज सुपर पोजिशन प्रॉपर्टी एंड होमोजिनियस प्रॉपर्टी सिस्टम इज कॉल्ड नॉन लीनियर सिस्टम नाउ we discuss what is superposition property or theorem and what is homogeneity theorem the first one is superposition theorem superposition theorem according to superposition theorem suppose we have one and more than one energy sources and we want to find the response of the system or all including the all other responses then the system of the response of the system is the algebraic sum of individual energy source is response of the individual energy sources means in mathematically term if we say that the we have a system suppose a system in which we give input xt and find a output yt now if we give input x1t and the output is y1t and if we give input x2t and find a get the output y2t then according to superposition theorem if we apply a third input x3t which is the algebraic sum of x1t plus x2t then the output of the system now y1t plus y2t this is the mathematical expression for superposition theorem now the second property is homogeneity property the second property is homogeneity property again suppose second is homogeneity property homogeneity property according to homogeneity property suppose we have a system in which we give input x and get output y t suppose now if we multiply this this signal x t by a constant a so may be positive or negative and we get output of the system also multiply with that constant same constant then we can say that the system follow homogeneity property this is the mathematical expression for homogeneity property and the linearity property is the combination of superposition and homogeneity property if we combine these two property what we get we get that suppose we have, we have a system xt in we have a system in which we give input x and output y t then according to the linearity property if we give the input a x t x 1 t plus b x 2 t and get the output a y 1 t plus b y 2 t then we can say that a system which follow this equation is we can say that that system is a linear system and a system which does not follow this property we can say that the system is non linear system for example for example this linearity property homogeneity and uh, superposition property can be represented by the diagram as we draw here uh, first we apply a signal x1t multiplier this is the multiplier multiply with a constant a and get a signal a1 x1t and there is a signal second signal x2t also multiply with a constant b and get b x2t after that we pass this through adder and get a sig output here here input a x1t plus b x2t and pass this input a x1t plus b x2t through the system and the output y dash t and y dash t may be a x y1t plus b y2 t here we pass first system by a multiplexer adder and then pass system in the second picture diagram 
we first we pass signal x1 t through system and get output y1 t and here the system there the signal x2 t pass through the system and get output y2 t after that we multiply a constant a and a constant b in signal x y1 t and y2 t respectively and get a y1 t and a y2 t if the uh, in in output y dash t and output y dash y double dash t is equal then we can say that the this system this system is a linear system and if then system is linear and if y dash t does not equal to y double dash t then we can say that the system is non linear according uh, now the linearity or non linearity of the system depend upon these two property for let us consider an example to study this particular property now first we take an example suppose we have a system which is described like this yt is equal to xt plus k st plus k okay this is the equation which describe a system we want to check that this system is linear or not first we want to pass out this system th through the first we set uh, check that this system is satisfy the superposition theorem or not and then after that we want to check that this system is also satisfy the homogeneity property of system or not if a system follow these two properties then we can say system is linear first we check superposition so means if we apply input x1 t then we get output y1 t which we define as y1 t is equal to x1 t plus constant k and if we apply an input x2 t and get output y2 t which is equal to x2 t plus k okay now we want to multiply this if we want to apply i input x1 t plus x2 t suppose this is equal to x3 t then what we get y3 the output is y3 t which is equal to x3 t plus k if we put the value of x3 t this is equal to x1 t plus x2 t plus k okay now suppose we we apply the first multiply the signal x1 t with a constant k and get input we apply a input a1 x1 t and get output y1 t which is equal to a of x1 t plus k which is equal to a x1 t plus k and if we apply another input b x2 t and we get output y2 t which is equal to b x2 t plus k again b x2 t plus k we can see that this system is follow linearity property also and the homogeneity property also so this system is a linear system okay now we discuss the next property of the system is time invariant property time in variant and time variant property of the system here we want to check a system is time linear time variant or time invariant now first we discuss what is the time variant invariant property uh, let us we try to explain this particular concept by taking a very layman example suppose we have two station railway station a and b and the distance between them is a uh, 100 km suppose a train is scheduled a train is scheduled at departure here from 12 pm and reach here 1 pm means 
the train take time how much time taken by the train one hour to reach from a to b suppose for any reason this train become late and depart one day departure at 1 10 12 pm means the train become 10 minute late and also when it reach at station b it is at 1 10 pm how much time it's consumed to reach from a to b now it's also reach again one hour so we can say that this system is a time invariant system.